What is up guys, Jaggy here, and I'm making this video as a bit of a precursor to the game against Bradford. I want to express my reactions to the new signings that we made, both to Sam Pearson and to, uh, what's his name, Armani Little, uh, coming from Forest Green Rovers. Uh, but I want to give my reaction. I don't really have too many highlight videos on them in particular, but I'm going to highlight a few statistics and whatnot and their positioning and what and how we can uh, approach our future games going forward. To start off, we're going to be looking at uh, Sam Pearson stats. And for reference, I like to use fbref.com. That is my go-to website to check football statistics. So, of course, we see him coming from Bristol City. Uh, and then also playing for a Scottish side in the championship. Um, not Nothing too crazy in terms of appearances, but I mean, Bristol City is a championship club, and to make your debut in that rather than like a National League or Conference League team is fairly impressive. But if we're to take a look here at uh, the positions that he's played for in those games that he's come out in, you can see that he's played uh, right mid, defensive mid, left mid, defensive mid, right mid, attacking mid. So for the most part, it seems like he's more so on, he can play more so on the wide hand areas. Um, so right mid, left mid, right mid. Uh, wherever we feel like slotting him, honestly, I think he's more of an attacking base player, obviously. Comparing that to Armani Little, who used to play for the Southampton Academy, uh, did decent for Torquay. I uh, really took him until the third season to get off and running. And if we take a look at those matches to see which positions he's played, he could be a good utility player for us. I mean, uh, we don't, like I like I said in um, my last video in the um, reaction to the crew, I think that we need a center mid, a uh, winger, and a striker. And talking mid could work too. But I didn't actually mention center back. Alex Pierce can play. Callum Bay, we have Nightingale. And um, Lee Brown can play center back. So we have four center backs, but it's not the most sturdy set of center backs you'll ever come across. Nightingale, a little... Uh, inconsistent at times, obviously hasn't played uh, since, you know, getting injured. And Alex Pierce, I thought, you know, before he got injured, he was a little bit woeful in terms of on the ball skill. But when it comes to marking, when it comes to winning headers, when it comes to overall establishing himself as a center back, really imposing himself, I think he's solid. I think he's fantastic. Uh, but we could use another center back. But I think signing a tried and true center back in the transfer window would be a bit of a waste. So signing someone that can play center mid and center back, I think that was a brilliant signing by Johnny Jackson and Co. To be able to fill in that center mid hole, to be able to fill in that hole in the center midfield uh, by signing two players that can play central midfield, uh, but by signing one player in Pearson who can play on, on the wide area and by signing Little who can play as a center back as well, I think we couldn't have asked for more in terms of our first two signings. Now let's see what we can get, we can get uh, later in the transfer window. Hopefully we can get a striker um, because Josh Davidson, while he is a, I'd say a firmly established League Two side, I would have to agree with Danny Baker in one of the episodes I saw uh, the last, not the last episode, but the episode before us, number 78, um, that he's not going to win us the league per se. We're going to need, you know, a few more players to step up. Josh Davidson isn't going to be a one-man army. Um, so, you know, signing another striker that can play alongside him, maybe not uh, right away because NYC is on the team, but once we see that departure of NYC, we can start to see him slot in and have that striker. We need to sign that striker in the transfer window so he can, he can get the chemistry with the, with the lads, with the boys, so that once NYC departs, he'll be ready to go. So in terms of actual highlights, I couldn't find any for Sam Pearson, but I do have a couple uh, I did watch this one already. I cheated a little. But this goal that he scored against Notts County, I'm just going to replay it so that I, I didn't have the audio. Cuts it to his right. It wasn't a quick turn. It was kind of slow, but, you know, not too much of a running start. It takes some skill to get that up and over the goalkeeper and place it well. That was a good goal. Now, this one, this one is one that I was uh, very impressed with and maybe could... Uh, could contend with Ethan, Ethan Chislett in terms of uh, the free kick taking. I, I don't think he's going to overtake Chislett because Chislett has already established himself as a borderline world-class free kick taker. But this one right here, put in with plenty of pace. I got to say, a little, probably a little bit more pace than Chislett would put in. 
Uh, but obviously that's just one free kick. Um, don't want to judge someone just by one free kick, but that one was placed very well. And now I'm seeing this one. Oh, another free kick here. A Marty Little wonder goal. Oh, bar down. You know, I actually celebrated before that even went in because I knew the with the flight of that ball, that one was going to be an absolute banger. But that one went bar down. Oh, bar post down. What a strike. But yeah, that's my two cents in regards to those two players and, you know, in regards to uh, whether or not we have filled in the holes that we needed to fill. We already filled in two of those holes, center mid and center back. Well, of course, Armani Little is a... Um, more of a center mid, I'd say, than a center back. Um, but he's played more games as a center back for Torquay than center mid. So that in itself is kind of interesting. Um, but, you know, two utility players. Not two players that play one position or two positions only. Utility players that can they can swap in and out. Very excited about our transfer window so far. And I'm looking forward to see how they slot in. I think Armani Little could honestly see maybe not an instant starting role but maybe within two or three games we could see him start at center mid um ahead of george marsh i'd say but uh this next game or two i th i would assume marsh is going to start but these next games are going to be key for marsh he's going to have some competition for sure and uh hopefully he can uh he can shine as for how we match up against bradford city they're currently a team in decent form i know it says they lost their last game uh against rochdale uh but that was a game where People were complaining about the referee. Uh, the penalty was a little soft. I was watching the highlights for that one. Because um, the player kind of trips over his own feet. He trips over his own feet while going to ground. Like he kicks his feet to kind of make it look a little more convincing. But that's not a pattern. Uh, and Bradford City fans do have a right to be upset about that one. But aside from that, you know, they lost. Uh, they won their other two games before that one. It was a 3-2 victory against Salford. Uh, a game in which they had like 16 shots, seven, uh, 7 on target. It was a pretty impressive performance all around. And as for the team itself, in terms of you know who they have, I mean, they have a who's who of strikers. I mean, they have, um, they have four strikers that could really come in and make a difference. I mean, first you have uh, Abu Asa, who I think is the least impressive of, of the bunch, but still you know a decent player all around. He played for Scunthorpe. They signed Vladine Oliver from Gillingham, who was a really crucial asset to Gillingham. I think he scored like 17 goals in one in his second to last season, and like 10 in his last one, I think, towards the team, and a, re a huge reason why they stayed up. You have Tyreek Wright, who play I think he plays for like an academy team. Yeah, Aston Villa Academy. Andy Cook, who I think is just coming off of a recent knock, if I'm not mistaken. He's come off the bench on a couple of occasions, but he has 13 goals on the season. I mean... That is a who's who of striking talent right there. Uh, and they play very deep, according to Google. I'm not entirely sure, but they play deep in terms of their back line. Um, hard to get through. They have one of the best uh, goals against tallies. Uh, only 25 compared to uh, Carlisle, Stevenage, and Late Norian with 13. And two of, two of them came against ours truly. But... Um, yeah, I mean, they're decent defensively. They're, they're good with set pieces. They have a few uh, players that can win headers, and they have good deliveries on those set pieces. So our aerial ability will be tested against them for sure. You're the likes of Kellen Bayou and Pierce will, will have to win plenty of headers, and uh, we'll have to keep those uh, strikers at bay. I think key players to look at for AFC Wimbledon in terms of uh, players that need to perform, like I said, George Marsh most likely starting, uh, and we'll have his uh, position contended against against our two new signings. And I want to say, I want to say Davidson's going to have a key game to play here because, uh, you know, we might play long on a few occasions. Maybe not all too often because, like I said, they their back line, you know, good with winning headers. I don't think we're going to play route one the whole time. But Davidson's going to have to uh, win those knockdowns. He cannot allow the center backs to, uh, to, to beat him out in the physicality. And uh, I think also a Sal will have to come up big against a top five side in Bradford, you're going to have to have a Sal come up with the goods. I think Pell also will be tested in terms of his ability to win the knockdowns and the headers, but he usually does. You can depend on him to do that. That's all I have to say in terms of uh, the preview as well, and that's really all I have to say for the video. Uh, stay tuned for the live stream that will be coming up. I will be coming at you guys. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and for those of you that will not attend the game, catch me on the live stream.